Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Valerian. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the exploration of the new DLC. It's time to continue our seafarer exploration. So we got Ben Slayer, a couple of other stuff and um, guard ships. So might as well start with the guard ships or you know what? Let's actually sail over here and do a bit more difficult endeavor. We're sailing against the wind. finally on open sea okay cool paddling Inappropriate Murphy looks to the south and shouts pirates. Well, I say let them come. Do we anchor here? Well, for starters. We're going directly on a confrontation course. Captain Amigail and his little pirate crew. Good, this time we're finding ourselves over here. Unfortunately, we will need to move a little bit further back to then swing into the middle of them. I think we're just going to land here, straight up on their side. also have landed here. That wouldn't have been the worst idea ever. Good first blood. Buccaneer takes a big fat hit. And we're forfeiting the opportunity to stand next to someone to get some extra um, valor. They all do have the a ballista. We don't have that on board yet. That's a, that's a bit of a problem, if he's landing there. Okay, our standard attack is gone, but we can do all of the other uh, stuff. Okay, cool. Understood.
Uh, I don't want to use the last Veiler to charge in. I rather let uh, Jim take the front line. That's fine. So now we do have a problem, because the landing will take place any minute. Nice little crit. And a kill. And we're good. Lesson learned, only use uh, this once uh, people have actually started to commit. Again, I don't want to be shot down, so we gotta be a bit careful not to trigger that ballista and be immediately shot down. Wow, what did happen over here? will be landing here and it is going to hurt damn we're disarmed and this guy seems to have the upper hand how long does disarm well it takes one turn fortunately the burning will uh, take us into a dying state We will be getting him down though, so that's okay. Walks away. Gets him back up. And since we're burning might as well stand here. Good, Jim will drop down here. That's a good idea because... He doesn't have a lot of health left. Did we miss it? Oh. How do we save him? I think by first disengaging, taking the hit, which absolutely sucks. hope that the weakening is enough to stay, uh, stay put for another turn. 
Yep, it was good enough. Captain, on the other hand, seems to be quite down. Something went wrong. We're going to drop as well. Don't tell me he's going to drop there as well. No, he is not. hit but not a crit best friend support what's up from the heavens from downtown Nice, big, fat, smashing hit. And that's the kill. Ooh, close battle. These snapple battles are a little bit more complicated. It's a lot to calculate through. And specifically if the enemies are like two or three levels above us. We got a heavy helmet. As long as the Sunus is engaged, they have protection. Hmm. It's actually not a bad helmet. I have to wonder. Our current helmet has frontal protection whilst the Sunus is supported. They are immune to a lot of stuff. But that's happening very seldomly. That on the other hand side uh, will give us a lot more hit points, effective hit points to chew through. And since we're almost leveled up, We even get a new weapon soon. The good uh, thing about being on the sea, by the way, is I can hardly imagine that any of our fugitives will quote-unquote flee. Where would they go? Swim to shore? Oh, nice. If we had cabbage, that would be fantastic. Well, Roby, our always beloved um, mule, seems to be enjoying his time here. By the way, I put a lot of uh, the stuff that we don't immediately need into the drawer. And we got ourselves a couple of pirates down. Uh, 
down here seems to be a crew that we can hunt. So might as well try it. This map seems to be massive compared to the others, but then we also have a ship, right? So... Nice. Another fight. All right, we landed on the ship. Well, it seems like a four versus four to me. How about... doing this nice followed by that okay just to make sure no one can reach us Murphy runs back the drop and we're waiting for them to come I really like that feature <clears throat> with oh oh okay I really like the feature with uh, the ballista If we're hitting him correctly, he should go overboard. <laughs> they, they are doing the same. Let's double down. Okay, lots and lots and lots of people are going to land very soon. Brutal hit, including bleeding. Nice little pushback. I see. We have enemies. That's a good question. Um, <clears throat> well, open to here, trample, and get this guy off. <laughs> See you later. Alligator. Wow, that was a good maneuver. But shortly afterwards... He finds himself... Very much... Uh, mm, in a problematic position himself. Conuleth the rat. Okay. Not sure what makes him a rat, but we're going to find out. That was a nice land. I like it. Um...
with one hit point, there isn't terribly much that we can do. I will say that that is one of the better things that we can do. Good shot. Unfortunately, not a crit, but very decent. here and swing right in Let's hit the, these guys. Let's have a poison and kill. Bloodshed. Can we land? <laughs> okay, pushing back on here definitely works. What a great fight. I like that overboard uh, maneuver. Jim finally got level 6 and got enough willpower, but I'm wondering, I think we need more movement. 16 is good, anything less than that, not so much. Loot the enemies, got some 29 armor, but that requires level 6. More armor, less willpower. This is a fantastic armor for... It gives plus one range. So that is indeed a very good armor for inappropriate Murphy. Adds to his range. Willpower looks good. And this here gives plus two movement. We're now at 20 movement, which means uh, one gnome to rule them all will be the fastest assassin on the battlefield. We can now fully go uh, for critical uh, critical maxim maximization. And with Jim being Jim and level six, we finally can use a couple of the items. For starters, I think critical hit and more armor is not bad and willpower is good as well. Which brings me to the question Okay, exact same headgear. Good. This one is interesting because it has the transference uh, skill. If all uh, damage to a target forces them to engage, if already engaged with an ally, this ally gains uh, favor and you gain favor as well, which is cool. On top of that, I wanted to use the defensive oil. 
which we can now apply to the weapon and now essentially there is a uh, every time a skill deals damage 30% chance the damage taken is reduced and then we have another oil I know we had the sharpening oil for extra crit chance Hmm. Okay. Well, certainly need to upgrade the weapons uh, soon with an increase in level there should also be an increase in the weapons and we do have the money to theoretically buy skills so that would be an option as well wait wait wait, wait. there's something cargo here To the west, something's floating. Okay. We're not robbing merchants, aren't we? These are actual merchants, right? just want to okay cool thank you thank you thank you oh the sea is rough here Southwest, that's right there, pirates. Okay, I don't feel like we need pirates at the moment. What we need is a bit of a rest. And the heavier material we should store here. As you can see, we have plenty of material if we were uh, to craft. Prisoner Wardren knocked out inappropriate Murphy to escape. And I wonder how that has happened. Where did they escape to? I mean, we're on the open sea. much fish so we're going to land on that island and are going to explore that I just decided that's a good idea
I haven't really figured out how to upgrade our ship. I know that we need a dock. Okay, I see, okay. Flat bottom hull. Yeah, and we haven't even gotten the blueprint for Ballista at the moment. I see. Good, this here is now our rival. Sinan. Okay, he will be the first one that we're going to get. But that'll happen in the next episode. For now, we're done with War Tales. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy War Tales, Pirates of Valerian, then leave a comment and a like down below. That really helps the videos. See you in the next episode, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.